Okay, today we're replacing an oxygen sensor on a 2010 Acadia. Um, it's on the firewall side of the vehicle. Um, it's up right next to the engine. It's bank one, sensor one is uh, right up there. Um, I'll uh, explain the tools that you should use to uh, get that partic particular sensor out. Um, just as a side note, if we come over to this pipe, which is coming from more of the front of the vehicle, this would be bank two, sensor two downstream. So uh, downstream sensor two, bank two, sensor two. And that's upstream, bank one, sensor one. And I'll show you the tools that I use to uh, get that guy out. So I went to AutoZone and I got this little handy tool here um, to get up there. Um, and then I also got these from AutoZone. You can see one is a shallow, one's a deep. The, uh, the one that works really well is the deeper one because um, the shallow one bumps into some um, extra bolts and surrounding metal shields and, and stuff. So if you get the, uh, the deeper socket right here for O2 sensor, um, you'll be in good shape. This is the, uh, the part number that I put in here. And uh, this is the old sensor here. Looks like it was maybe running lean, I'm not really sure. Um, and then this is kind of what the, uh, the connector looks like. So hopefully that's going to take care of my Bank 1 Sensor 1 uh, P code that I have on this particular vehicle. I think that's sensor was around $70. Anyway, hope you liked the video. Please like, share, and subscribe.